Hey guys, recently I was sent the Kiss Instawave curler to try out, so in this video I'm going to share my first impressions with you. So this is the newest fully automatic tangle-free curler on the market and it allows you to curl your hair from any position using either hand. The instructions on the box seem pretty straightforward. You just place a section of hair on the Instawave, press the button, then pull down the barrel to release. This curler has two temperature settings which are high and low and the highest goes all the way up to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. It features a stationary rod that's 1 inch in diameter and it also has a curl dial that spins left or right depending on which button you press so this allows you to have curls in different directions. As always, I'm going to apply heat protectant all over my hair so I'm going to start off on the left side first. Next, I'm going to brush my hair to make sure that the product is evenly distributed. Alright, so now it's time to test this out. I'm going to work with half an inch sections of hair at a time and the reason for that is because I have long hair and if I grab too much hair, there might not be enough space on the barrel to heat my hair up. As for the instructions on the box, I'm going to place the strand of hair in the curl dial, then I'm going to spin it towards the left to give myself outward curls. Now keep in mind that this was my first time using it so I was expecting some trial and error. Uh, to my surprise, it was actually really easy to use because I got it right from the get-go. So this is how you want to use it. You want to hold the InstaWave vertically, place a strand of hair on the InstaWave rod, and press the left button to spin it towards the left. Then you want to hold your hair there in place for 5 to 10 seconds depending on how thick your hair is, and when that's done, you release it by pulling the rod down vertically. As you can see, this wand can get quite hot. I actually used it at the highest temperature hair, and the stain you see coming from my hair is actually my heat protectant. Now, because this is really hot, if you accidentally forget about it and you leave for work or school, it will automatically shut off after 90 minutes, so it does have a great safety feature. The barrel itself is coated with the diamond ceramic technology, so it leaves my hair shiny, and as you can see, it's also really frizz-free. Since I have fine hair and I only curled about half an inch sections at a time, I ended up with ribbon-like curls. If you have shorter hair, you can afford to add more hair to the barrel and that will give you a wavy look. My hair didn't even get tangled once here just because I brushed it out at the beginning, so that's something that I highly recommend that you do. However, if it does get tangled, all you have to do is pull the rod down because there aren't any clamps that can damage your hair. To test if these curls are long-lasting, I'm going to run my fingers through them and I'm also going to run my fingers through my roots to give my hair some volume. I didn't use hairspray hair and I actually left my curls for the whole day and at the end of the day, they were still pretty bouncy so these curls definitely are long-lasting. After I broke apart the curls, they actually turned into beautiful waves which is what I prefer anyways, so that's a plus and it also gave a lot of volume compared to my right side. Now on the right side, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to press the right button to spin it towards the right, and this is going to give outward curls on the right side. The left and right switch does allow you to curl your hair in different directions, so if you like alternating curls, you can always do that. This was my first time using it, so I wanted to keep it simple, which is why I chose to curl my hair all in one direction. All in all, I do like this product. It claims to work on all hair types, long and short, which I don't disagree with because I have long hair and it works quite well. The only con I can think of is the barrel height. For long hair, I find it a little bit too short. I would like to grab larger chunks of hair and in order to do that, the barrel has to be either taller or wider. So I would like to see different sizes in the future. But if you have short or medium length hair, this is the perfect size for you. I personally find this really easy to use so I would recommend it to people, especially beginners because it does all the work for you and you really can't go wrong. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this product in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.